Only on News 5, the city of Colorado Springs has paid out hundreds of thousands of dollars in settlements related to officer misconduct. But News 5 investigates found in Colorado, the public is often kept in the dark about what, if anything, happens to those officers. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson looking into a bill making its way through the legislature right now that would actually allow the public to access those completed internal affairs investigations. Patrick. That's right. We could learn a lot from this in the end. If passed, this bill would shed light on how police police themselves. Law enforcement agencies across the state often withhold internal affairs records, meaning the public has no idea whether officers are being held accountable for their actions. This bill has gained both support and opposition tonight. We have both sides. My brother is being put in handcuffs. In 2015, two men were pulled over for a traffic stop by Colorado Springs police officers. Benjamin Brown, the driver, was asked to step out of the car and was placed in handcuffs. His brother Ryan pulled out his phone and started recording. The officers then took Ryan from the car and put him in handcuffs as well. Ryan was pulled from his vehicle, uh, thrown to the ground, his face was pushed into the snow, and his camera was taken out of his hand and thrown onto uh, concrete. This interaction led to a civil rights lawsuit and ultimately the Browns settled with the city of Colorado Springs, the city paying out more than $200,000. Six months after the settlement with the Browns, another police encounter in Colorado Springs would prompt a new lawsuit. Tyrell Clayton was recording video outside of the Falcon substation in November of 2017 when he was approached by officers who said he was acting suspiciously. The officers took Clayton's camera and detained him. He sued and the city settled the case for $41,000. There's also the case involving Alexis Acker. She was arrested in November 2013 after reportedly interfering with the arrest of her boyfriend who had a warrant. Acker was taken to Memorial Hospital where surveillance video captured Colorado Springs police officer Tyler Walker slamming Acker to the floor. Acker suffered injuries to her face and sued the police department. The city settled for $100,000. Cases like this now have the attention of state lawmakers. Why can't we know? Why can't we know? why the uh, city of Colorado Springs paid out $100,000 to Alexis Acker. We don't know why, and that builds, that just breeds and builds mistrust. State Representative Dave Williams says he's supporting a bill that would open up this information to the public. This is actually a modest uh, bill that we're trying to get passed here, and again, all it does is it allows for these internal affairs investigative reports, once they're completed, to be opened up to public scrutiny. And even with that, again, law enforcement can still redact personal information and ensure that we're protecting our police officers and no undue harm comes to them. Donald Sisson represents the Colorado Fraternal Order of Police, also known as the FOP. This organization opposes the bill. Sometimes the officer's right to privacy outweighs the public's need to know, and sometimes it doesn't. And so we just, the FOP's position is that we think the system works perfectly fine. As it stands now, law enforcement agencies are given wide discretion on what information they don't have to release to the public. Sisson says if the public doesn't like it, they can take it to court. The judge decides that it should be disclosed, great. But we are standing firm on we should still have, the officer should still have some privacy interest. The bill that would open internal affairs reports to the public passed the Colorado House and now heads to the Senate. If passed, the bill would allow the public to inspect completed internal affairs investigations moving forward. Sisson believes internal affairs files should remain confidential, and he fears this bill could adversely affect law enforcement's ability to recruit new officers. It's just becoming harder and harder for police officers to want to remain police officers because they're, they're subject of, of such scrutiny. But lawmakers argue transparency will improve public trust and hold officers more accountable. We're raising standards and I think uh, when you serve the community in that way, uh, it's going to attract the best, uh, the best that we have in our community. All right, take a second and take a look at this map. Right now, 14 states already have laws on the books giving the public access to law enforcement internal affairs records. Those are all the states highlighted in gold. The question is, will Colorado be next? I reached out to our local law enforcement officials to get their take on this bill. They tell me they'll wait to see if the bill passes before making a comment. We will keep you updated on the progress of this bill, both on air and online at KOAA.com. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates.